I'd like now to, to, uh, to move to another area which is important for climate uh, in general. And uh, Mariam, um, you're, uh, you're leading um, a Rebound, uh, which is, uh, which is um, uh, an exchange for a recycled plastic. Clearly, um, the overwhelming development of plastic production is deeply contributing to CO2 emission, but also is a massive uh, waste issue for the planet and uh, pollution is also bad for our health. So how is Rebound helping on that front? Um, so first of all, good morning, everyone. And it's my pleasure to be between um, all of you here today. Regarding Rebound, what we want to solve is the plastic pollution problem. And given that virgin plastics is a valuable commodity, we believe that recycled plastics is just as equivalent. Um, there is no scientifically and environmentally proven, and as well as economically proven material um, that can substitute plastics today, mainly because it's a very versatile and useful material. Now, while there are certain types of plastics and additives and chemicals that need to be, um, let's say, deleted from the uh, chain, uh, there are many other precious types of plastics which can be recycled and have a market for it. However, um, just like carbon markets, um, the recycling market of plastics specifically is very opaque and fragmented. So how do we build trust and transparency today between businesses, directly between buyers and sellers, globally around the world, to be able to facilitate the trade of recycled plastics in a quality assured and regulatory compliant manner? So that's exactly what we do and what we address. And of course, no better way to reach a global audience and a global market than through a platform. That's where digitalization comes in. That's where marketplaces come in. And that's where um, I believe a neutral facilitator such as ourselves helps facilitate this trade um, in a way where the private sector fulfills demand and supply gaps, but also the public sector is comfortable in the type of non-hazardous materials um, we're creating a market for. Wonderful. and. Uh uh, by the way, uh, you are the only Gulf uh, startup having been awarded the label uh, Tech Pioneer by the World Economic Forum uh, earlier in the year. So congratulations. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's awesome. So uh, definitely plastic waste uh, collection and recycling comes with a cost. And uh, th this, is th this is very important. Uh, and this is why some are uh, promoting the notion of uh, extended producers' responsibility and also the notion of uh, plastic credits to, to make the value chain uh, affordable. So wh what's your view on that? So definitely, um, the recycling plastics market today faces a challenge of you know, typically this is an economy and I have a background in finance. So, you know, I need to look for the dollar sign. And when I started Rebound, I came to understand why there's a pollution problem because financially companies won't pay more to introduce recycled plastics in their finished product if the virgin plastic is cheaper. And we cannot just sit and wait um, for regulations to kick in and, and policies to enforce because how much can law enforce at the end of the day when it is applicable in one region but not applicable um, in the other. I also come from a, a government and policy background uh, having worked for the cabinet of ministers so I am aware of what up to what can the public sector kind of uh, lay on the ground but then how will the private sector start to react. So when it comes to credits in, in the plastics um, recycling space, it's important to offset that barter and negotiation price that buyers want to drive down. For instance, if today virgin PET is being sold at around $900 a ton, um, recycled PET is being sold at around $1,100 or $1,200 per ton. So that roughly $300 difference, the seller of the recycled plastics cannot drive the price 
as low as 900 because that means that they'll be operating at a loss and unfortunately that's why a lot of recyclers cannot stay in business. The opportunity that credits present here is that it's an alternative revenue model. So instead of just benefiting from selling off the tangible material, they can also benefit from selling the credits that are generated. And, you know, while some people might um, push for extended producer responsibility only on the producer side or, you know, pointing the finger at just one entity or one company will not help solve the pollution crisis. It's that entire value chain and stakeholder of value chains, including governments and municipalities, that will help capture this material being separated at source, generate that collection credit, beyond that moving it to an ethically responsible and environmentally capable company which can recycle these plastics and then put it back into the market such as our marketplace where the buyer and seller can deal directly and there's that um, ultimate level of transparency when it comes to quality too. Interesting, and, and, and clearly we, we see that uh, solutions exist and technology is already uh, here that can be used. The question is how fast can we deploy and how fast can we enforce adoption? So uh, uh, funding is on the critical path and affordability of these investments is also, we, uh, plastic is also a perfect example.